After his furious girlfriend threw him out of the car without his inhaler, this asthmatic was saved at the last minute by a police officer. Yeah, I was supposed to be waiting for my wife to come to me up. I have freaking asthma, I can't breathe. We also have a possessive girlfriend who trapped her boyfriend in the house to make him pay the bills. I told him you're not leaving, and that's when I got the knife and did that, and I told him. There are those who bite guys they've just met, and there is also this. Out of my home! No, I will get the supervisor now. I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, in. Officer, then don't come don't. in my home! But to start, you'll see a disgraceful case where a girl attacked and trapped her boyfriend, blaming everything on him while portraying herself as the victim. Upon the arrival of the police, she immediately started making serious accusations, but the police quickly became suspicious of her story. Yes, stomped several times, punched me in the head several times, tried to choke me out, threw me again. So if you could do a CT scan, you'll see the loss of the, the air because he chokes me, right pummeled me, literally pummeled my head. It's yeah. happened several times before, but I am sick and tired of it now. Yeah. Okay. She attacked me. My car is fine. You can walk, walk over here. I'll okay. talk over here. Yeah. Um, this is my cell phone. I have no weapons on me. I got you. My car is full with my belongings. I was uh -huh. leaving. She took the dog out of the car, which is registered in my name, uh -huh. and attacked me and bit me. It's around me. Nothing. Nothing more. So what happened today? What started this whole thing? She's convinced that I cheated on her. Those are dogs? I'm taking the big one. That's the only one okay. I'm taking. Okay, so what happened today? You're you convinced that you were cheating on her? Yes. And the girl, we called the girl, and the girl specifically said, I did not cheat on you, and she has these delusions as if I did. So I said, okay, I will pack my things up, and I will leave. My officer, you can see my car is full with all my belongings. Uh -huh. I was taking my dog, which is registered in my name. Uh -huh. She has the other dog, which is registered in her and her mother's name. Okay. That dog is registered in my name. Okay. So then you're packing yourself up. What happened? No, I'm not that? even packing. My stuff is done being packed. Oh, your stuff is packed? In my there? stuff is already packed. Like, I'm ready to leave. That's all. I was trying to leave. That's it. And she attacked me. Okay. So you're trying to leave. So when, like, like, I'm trying to get the, like, the details. I, put, I finished packing myself in the okay. car. I put the dog in the car. And she runs out, takes the dog out of the back seat, and I go into the house and I grab the leash and she bites my arm. She loves you. Grab the leash, she bites your she arm. She bites my okay. arm to let go. Okay. And she grabbed my shirt and she said, and she said, oh, don't reach for your pocket. And I, I was never reaching for it. How am and I where, doing where, that? Where's the shirt at? The ripped shirt. In the middle. Would you like to see it? There's yeah. nobody else in the house, sir. Again, there's nobody here. And she locked the door. Of course okay. she did. Okay, she ripped bit my you shirt. and ripped your shirt. Yes. To get to, well, well, what was her purpose for doing all this? To have me let go of the dog because I did not let she go. Because she wanted the both dogs? She wants both dogs. She's okay. delusional. The dog has a chip that's registered for me. Yeah, because I registered her. I did as well. No, we just like the, let's just figure this out and then go from there. I would like to just leave with the dog and call it quits. That's it. That's all. Was, that's what the plan was. As you can see, my car is full. I had no intentions of going back and forth with her. But do you want to press charges against her? No, I literally just want the dog and I want to leave. I don't want anything to do with her. Did you hit her or touch her in any way? To get her off of me, yes. Okay. Cause she literally, even That's as, right. as I'm, I'm pushing her, my nails are extremely up. long. Even as I'm pushing her to get off me, she still ripped my shirt. My how mother was the, on the phone. How bad is it? Okay. Okay. And oh, oh down his neck too. Yeah. And and the bite. And the bite. Okay. She already has a dog. I don't want to be arrested for going in the house and going near her. Do you have any proof that you're the one who solely purchased the dog and it's in your name? Yes. Where is yes. It? Where is it? It's in the house. Both parties have accused the other of physical assault, which complicates the officer's subsequent actions. It's crucial that officers gather as much detail as possible, because identifying the primary aggressor is key in domestic violence cases. The aggressor in this case might face multiple charges related to domestic violence, so the police will now thoroughly question the girlfriend who claims her boyfriend brutally attacked her. However, unlike him, she does not have any visible injuries. So what, so what happened today? Okay. Figure out. Literally, the other night, he went out uh -huh. with a friend of mine. Uh -huh. I've been with him for almost two years. We went to downtown, we got lit. Me and him got a little too drunk. Uh -huh. So then, they drove me home. They drove me home, and then both of them left. And uh -huh. I went to the street right next to Osceola High School. Uh -huh. And they had sex. He cheated on me with my best friend. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I told him you need to go because he has been the past several nights 
He has been physically assaulting me. Just last night, we were up until 7 in the morning. He locked me in the bathroom. Same thing. Strangling me. Spit in my face. Punching me in the head. Punching me in my back. My thigh. With his knee knee. Like, I'm bruised basically. They're both my dogs. Certainly is my ESA animal and I have a card for that. It's just at my mom's apartment. Because he's trying to get that and throw it out. And I have proof that I bought both of them. Like, okay, so you start packing his stuff up in his car. Yes, 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 yes. What happened? He went in the room. He said, you're not saying bye to me? I said, okay, I'm taking the room. Literally. Takes her. I go to the car. I'm like, you're not taking her. I'm sorry. I open the door. That's when he says, I'm going to kill you. Grabs me by my hair. Throws me to the ground. Starts punching me in the head. I'm covering my face. Punching me. Or just stomping me, stomping me out my whole body. Punching me again and again and again. Then I get up. Uh -huh. I lock the door so he, he can't go. I lock the door and him like that. Grab me like this. So yeah, I think I was, I was losing air. Uh -huh. It's not the first time he strangled me. Yeah, not the first time. Okay. I bit him. He finally let go. Grabs me again. Throws me literally right next to that little, that little candle. Throws me again. Starts punching me. Saying he's gonna kill me. Pummeling me, pummeling, pummeling me. So I grab a hold of his shirt. And yes, I ripped it. That's the only way he would let me go. We need to make sure that they check you out right now, yeah. okay? Because they're here, but they need to check you now to make sure I know. you're okay. I know. And where's the uh, trying to get back? Uh, are you getting worried uh, getting injuries on you? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Is this was neck? from last night. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, Hold on. Oh, well, he choked you, bit him. Yes, he let like, go of it. Grab the shirt. Yes. Oh, mm, you know if you have any other marks on you? I don't think so, I don't know. Okay. When he stomped on you, where, where was it at? What body, like, part of My body? head. Your head? My head. He punched me, pummeled me, pummeled me. I covered my face, my head. So if you could do a, a CD scan, I don't really know. You'll see trauma in my head. Mm -hmm. Stomp my head out and my back, and I'm in fetal position trying to protect myself. Mm -hmm. The girlfriend has made serious accusations, but given the nature of these claims, she would have visible injuries, yet she cannot even describe where she is hurt. Now both groups of police officers will discuss among themselves and quickly conclude that the girlfriend who tried to evade charges with lies and acting is actually the main aggressor. He still has the property in here so we can't keep him from the house. Mm -hmm. She's going to the hospital. We're not getting in the middle of whatever civil issues are off. Mm -hmm. But, what charges do we have on either, if any? She's saying a lot. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. At this point in time, it seems like she's primary. It does. That's just me. But the thing is, yeah, cause like, her injuries don't match. <laughs> she says that he was taking the dog, like he was packing his dog up to leave. Okay. She knew, she, that's her dog. Sure. That's her dog. So okay. She opened the she opened the, the door and took him. Took the dog. Took the dog back inside. Okay. He went to get the dog. He went for the leash. Mm -hmm. She bit him in the arm. Oh. And so he was pushing her away, like get away, get away, get away. Mm -hmm. And she just grabbed onto the shirt, like ripped the shirt. Okay. And when that happened, he ended up pushing her hard. She fell in the living room. Okay. Well, self defense. <laughs> yeah. When that happened, she basically blocked his, blocked him inside, called the police, said, I'm well, you're going to jail. Is that her car? That one? Yeah. Okay. What's going on? We were just having normal conversations and then I guess she just freaked out. She went and tried to like grab my phone in my pocket and I went to grab it back and ended up biting the f out of my thumb. I mean, I'm fine. That's, I ain't doing anything. I just would like her and all of her stuff out because that's possible. What is going on tonight? He was my boyfriend and then he wasn't, but he was like passively playing me the entire time and it okay. just turned into a whole mess that was really unnecessary. Okay. So yeah. And then we have both been drinking the night. Okay, so do you live here with him? Yeah, him and I had a mutual agreement that I give up my lease on my apartment that I had and stuff like that. Okay, does she live here with you? Yes and no. Like, she does live here, like her stuff is here, but I'm the only one on the lease. Okay, how long has she been staying there? I guess since I moved in. Which is when? About three weeks ago. Okay. Um, can you show me your thumb real quick? Yeah, I mean, I'm fine. It's just a bite mark here, but I mean. Have you, how long have you been living here then? It was really fast. 
I've probably been here like a month, a month and a week or something like that. Okay. Do you have another place to go for the night so that we don't, we're not coming out here and arresting probably everybody? Probably not, but you won't have to arrest anybody because I'm just going to pack my things and then go to bed. And you won't have anything. Okay. Can you take a step back from me, please? Yeah, I'm Thanks. sorry. It's just her apparently tired of me when I was trying to talk to someone else because she's my ex and me talking to someone else, she flipped out. When would you want to live together with somebody you have been dating for a week? I don't know. I guess it's kind of my own problem. I don't like being alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my own issues, I guess. Okay. How long have you been here all day and we just started fighting? Like, what's... He just likes to talk to other females behind my back and stuff like that. And I probably just overreacted. He was on the phone with some co-worker that he lied to me about whenever we were broken up. And then, like, I was... It's just a huge mess because he just likes to talk to females behind my back and stuff like that. And I take that stuff to heart. Sure. Like, I, I, I don't want to like my boyfriend doing that. <laughs> he wasn't my boyfriend at the time. Okay, I guess Sorry. you're here. I think alcohol is probably an issue too tonight? <laughs> no, I can handle my alcohol. Okay, but we wouldn't be having this issue if we wouldn't be having alcohol tonight? No, there would still potentially be an issue with everything if okay. I hadn't had been drinking. Okay, so what exactly happened? Like, why are we out here? Why did he call us? Probably because I got upset with him and stuff. Okay, you take the phone from him, the yeah. phone was on the ground, okay. Kind of, he put it in his pocket for a minute and I just kind of grabbed it and pushed the in call button. Okay, where's the phone at now? I don't know. Okay, you give it back to him? Probably with him. Given that Marissa has been living in the boyfriend's apartment for a month and they have a relationship, this situation qualifies as a domestic violence incident. How long she has been living at the apartment and whether she has belongings there is important because this information is crucial for determining her rights regarding eviction or voluntary departure. During the questioning, Marissa left out the fact that she bit her boyfriend, but the bite mark is sufficient evidence for the police to detain the angry girlfriend for possible battery. Okay, Marissa, right now you're under arrest, but trans bunch of- No, 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 You're not gonna run for me. No, 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 you don't understand. There's no way you will get me out. No, you don't, no, 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 no. Please just let me take my brother, let me take my brother. You're making this worse than it has to be. Please let me take my brother, please let me take my brother, Chad Michael. Stop, don't scratch me, relax. I got her. Chad, please! What did I do? To you, you bit him. What? You bit him. I didn't bite him. There's a bite mark on his hand. There's a bite mark on my arm. You're also in arrest for resist because you took off from me. I know it's trying to take off from you. I was just trying. Yeah, you ran away from me. Let's go. Chad, please! Chad, my brother, please call my brother. Five, six, eight, three. You well, can walk you or we can carry you. carry you. I don't know his number. Will you please just call my brother? Will you please grab my phone and call my brother? Come on. Please. Walk. Please. Get the off of me. Do not. Please. Do not. <laughs> now you're under arrest for battery. You're not going to kick No, I'm not trying to battle you. I, I just saw you kick her. Mom. You just made this a whole lot worse for I yourself. wasn't trying to. I well, just you did. Need you kicked her. You resisted. I wasn't trying to. I just need to call my brother. Please. You ready to sit up so we can sit you in a car? Okay. Or you want to sit, sit out here in the concrete where everybody can see you? Thank you. Please. You're not getting out please, of this. Please, can I talk to no. him at least? Please, please. I have a right. I know I have a right. He's clearly a victim of domestic violence. He's no, not a victim of domestic violence. You do not have a right to talk to him. He is because you bit him. I didn't bite him. He has a bite mark on his thumb. Can you just bring him over here? No. I mean, I'm cuffed. I can't do anything. I'm no. sitting here. You We're can. No, we're not going to. Just for your information, once domestic violence is reported and evidence is established, the decision to prosecute does not rest with the victim. This is often referred to as a no-drop policy, where even if the victim does not wish to pursue the case, the aggressor will still be charged. So are you going to get in my car? No. Why not? Because I need my phone. I need to call my brother first. You don't need anything. I do. I'm not getting in okay. your car. All right. Well if then, you do that or we can put you in a van and a wrap where you yeah. really can't move. I just want to talk to him. No, you're not talking to him. We're past Chad, that. Chad, will you please come over here? Stay over there. Don't come over here. I will be gone in the morning. I beg of you, please do not do this to me. He's not doing anything. We are. He's doing everything. He has no say in it. 
Yeah. He does. He has no say. No, he does yes, not. he does. No, I know he does, he does. Okay. You obviously don't know the law. I do know the law. Okay. So what are you going to do? Are you going to get in my car? Or are you going to go into the wrap in the back of the van? I didn't do anything. I didn't fight him. Well, you'll have your day in court to argue that. Where's his mark? I want to see it's his mark. His you'll see it in court. It's not on his thumb because I didn't bite him. Okay. I didn't bite you. 25, can you start a rap? Dad! I didn't bite him though. That's the thing. I really didn't. Do you guys take me back where I need to be? You're going to the jail. I know that, but like... When you get released... I don't have my phone though. I need my phone. Can you okay. please go so, get my phone so I have my brother at least? Can please you get in the car. Least? Scoot in the car so I'm not holding you up. I get in the car, but can you please get my phone from him? I'll work so on I getting your phone. But you at least call my phone. brother in the morning so I can get my stuff. We'll get your phone. You gotta help us out too. Sorry. Be quiet. You made it exponentially worse by one running from me when I, I told you under arrest. Stop. Yours. You ran from me. End of story. It's on camera to. after I told you you're under arrest. Then you kicked me. All right, that's two more charges. I was just trying to go back to get my phone so I could call my brother. That's all. The alcohol does not help anything because well, you're that's 20 years old. His fault. Nope, you're the one drinking it. He's the one who bought it. Okay, doesn't matter. People buy alcohol all the time. Doesn't mean I'm well, going to drink it. It matters because if he was caught with me while buying it, he'd get arrested for it. Okay, well you're the one that's drinking it, so you're also going to get a minor consumption charge as well. No, it's all under his name. You're the one ingesting it. Please put your feet in. Yes, ma'am. Please put your feet in. I'm not done talking. Okay. Right now, I'm done talking to you. I'm not. I need Please my phone, knee. and then I will be done. Okay. Please put your knees back in the car. Marissa was charged with domestic battery, battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest. Hi. What's going on? Nothing. We're good. I'm getting my kids ready for school. They're going to be late, so i got to get them ready first. Well, what was going on, though? Nothing's like... going on. I'm getting my kids ready for school. Well, somebody called 911 here and there was yelling and screaming. Um, we're getting our kids ready for school. They're, we're literally getting ready for okay. school. They're going to be late. And I'm, I'm in underwear, so... Right, and we're investigating a crime. So There's who are crime you? crime here. Who are you? Um, you need to stop. I'm Step getting... out of the house. Stop. Step out of the house stop talking right to me. now. My kids are right here. I'm not doing anything. Step out of the house now. Step out of the house now. Stop touching me! Look, I'm pregnant! Why is he touching me? Stop touching me! We are investigating a domestic There's violence going call. On. Then talk to us and let us know who else is in the house. Just me and the kids and my husband. Leave me alone. Stop touching me! Here's the situation. Look what you he's have doing. You're not cooperating. I told you. behind the wall. We can't see your I hair. I hit my underwear! Okay. So then you can Turn around, put your hands behind your No, back. stop! Leave me alone! I'm pregnant! Why are you touching me? Look what he's doing to me! Very easy, just cooperate. Okay, doctor, stop! Be aggressive and touching me! Okay, we will. What's going on? Come here. No! Okay. These are my Step kids! Outside. Okay, Come here. That's fine, but these are my kids! They're my, this is my house! We're not cooperating. We got a call. We're investigating. That's fine, and there's nothing Who wrong! Who else is in the house? all over your face. I'm no, I don't! Leave me alone! Junior and Ninos? Yes, you do. Yes, these are my, this is my family! Leave me alone! Stop. Stop, stop. touching me! Stop. Okay, well stop touching me. Sorry, stop. stop. My kids are right there. Leave me Calm alone! Calm down. Calm down. I'm going to sue you. Calm That's down. That's what I'm going to do. What's going on? Okay, have... I will talk to you if you leave me alone. Just have... stop being aggressive on me. You have signs of injury on your face. That's fine. You 911 call. Okay, so, so stop. So obviously there's Look something going on. Look at my kids are watching. Please stop. Because you were doing something in the house. No, I wasn't. I was getting my kids ready for school. I so just what's told going you. On okay, then? leave me alone. I will talk to you. Someone on the phone claimed that a husband and wife were fighting loudly in Spanish. When police receive a report of domestic violence, they have a duty to investigate to ensure the safety of all parties involved. In such cases, when police have a reasonable belief that someone inside is in imminent danger, officers do not need a warrant to enter a residence. But immediately pulling someone out of their home, especially when they are not fully clothed, raises issues of personal dignity and privacy. But we still don't know anything particular yet, so let's move on. Step, step out. No! Stop out. touching me! I'm not even in your clothes! Step out here, just follow right. directions. That's it. This is a private property. Why are you guys in my house? Somebody called 911 from here. There was a discussion over, give me some papers, give me this, give me that. So what is going on? You have a scratch on your this face. This is not from today, though, sir. 
We it's literally just with, got a call. Yes, I understand you guys got a call, but this is not from who today, called? though. I'm not sure who. It's early in the morning. I just woke up. I don't know who called. I'm not watching my neighbor, sir. I don't know. While the woman was giving her statement, her husband was talking to another police officer. He revealed that he was a victim of domestic violence and that his wife had beaten him that morning before the police arrived. She also slashed the tires and windows of his vehicle with a knife when he said he was leaving. You took a knife to this window trying to crack it to force him to give you the papers. Do you see what I see here? Yes, but after he scratched me. No, you don't know what happened here. You don't so, understand. So tell us. So tell us. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah, so tell me. Yeah, you're just seeing what he said. Right. We woke up and I, I told him since yesterday. I was going to let him use her. But he, he doesn't put a ride for her. So I told him this morning, I need my papers before you leave because I'm going to file taxes. And he refused, and he was getting me and shaking me, and so I had to get him down to the couch because that was the only way to get out from him. And I'm scratching and I told him, if you don't stop, I'm going to call the cops. Okay, and then, then we came to... outside, and he was trying to leave. And I told him, you're not leaving. And that's when I got the knife and did that, and I told him. He's saying that you do this constantly. You take advantage of him because he's illegal, he doesn't have standing in this country, and you threaten him. He's the one that dialed 911. I just confirmed. He dialed 911. He's fed up with the situation. He said he provides, he pays rent here, he not provides for the, the girls, he provides even for the kid that's not his, she takes all his cash, he has no standing, yeah, can't pay checks, right can't pay any of that, that's a has lie. no proof, has some con he's fed up with it, he's fed up with the he situation. He does not pay everything. He's always been afraid to call 911 because her English is better and feels that he's the one that would no, be arrested. He's been so he goes inside, argues. She says no, no, no. Continues to argue. <clears throat> goes from zero to a hundred about these papers. <clears throat> so he's like, "Look, it's my girl. I provide for her. I pay your rent here. Just let me go. It's, Not all the it's, time. it's my money." So I am going to arrest you for domestic violence, criminal damage, and disorderly conduct. Um, I'll make it as quick as I can so you can get back uh -huh. here. Okay, but I don't think that's fair though. It doesn't matter what you think is fair or yeah, not. Yeah, but he the started of, first though. I understand. Like I understand, but the state of Arizona says if we have probable cause to believe a crime occurred, that he's not eligible though, to be with the kids by himself. Okay, so who is? I'm not. I don't have anybody. Okay, then we're gonna have to take them to DCS custody. That that's that's our only option. Why can't he go and I stay with the kids? If if. There because I have probable cause to believe that you damaged his truck for no reason. There's there no reason for you to go out there and start damaging his, his window. I think he should go. Because if it was, it was he the one who started you it. You are going to go. If he started, if you're defending yourself, if he's defending, I, I don't right, know. Right, right. But what I do know is there, you had no reason to go out there and stab his windows and stuff because tire. you wanted, or his tire, yeah, because tire. you wanted, wanted the paperwork from him. You know what I'm saying? According to the victim's statement, he is illegally residing in the USA. His partner exploited this by taking his papers and blackmailing him to stay with her and work illegally to support her family. He tried to escape from her several times, but she did not allow him to leave and would even resort to physical violence. On that day, she even took a knife forcing him to call the cops. She will now be arrested, and upon arriving at the jail, her true nature quickly becomes evident. Huh? Is that Samantha? Yes. Can I get it? Can you stand on your phone? Please? It's not an option. I'm not doing a photo. You have to. Samantha. I'm not. I'm not. No, I don't want my picture on there. Wait for me again. I will Stop argue. Stop charging me! I'm not charging you with a felony for resisting! Stop! I'm not doing Stand a up. picture! Leave me alone! No! Take a picture. Leave me alone! You don't have the right to touch me! Stop touching me! I'm praying to leave me alone! Stop. Right. Leave me alone! I'm breaking in here! No, stop! You're Look, hurting me! I'm not even doing anything! Leave me alone! You don't have the right to touch me! Yes, Just I do. No, you don't! That doesn't give you the right to touch me! Look and, at the camera. And pinch me and squeeze me! How rude of don't you! Don't pull away from me! Okay, well, stop pull touching me. me! No, I'm not! Look at the camera and get Leave your picture taken! Leave me alone! Why are you touching me and bruising me? Samantha. What the hell's wrong with you? Get your picture taken! No, I'm not! I, I don't have to! Yes, you do! No, I don't! Stop doing that to me! No! You don't have the right to be stop, touching me! Stop. You're hurting me, Jules! What the hell? Look at the camera. Leave me alone! I'm gonna stop. sue you because you're touching me and hurting me! I'm gonna I'm sue you! I'm gonna tell a judge when I go to judge. the judge! Get your picture taken. No, I'm not! Leave me alone! This is not okay! Not Ever since you've been to the house, you've been touching me and hurting me! Leave me alone! What the hell's wrong don't with you? Pull away from me! Look what you're doing don't to me! Leave me alone! Don't pull away from me. Leave me alone! Don't You're hurting me! What an a**hole! Stop. Stop! This is not okay 
for you to be doing stop. this to me. Stop. stop. You're hurting uh, me. I'm not doing anything. Yes, you are. I'm not doing anything. You're pinching me. Leave me alone. Look. Leave me alone. Stop uh, touching me. You're hurting me, sir. You're hurting me. I'm not doing anything. You're Samantha was charged with disorderly conduct and criminal damage. What's going on, man? What's up? Not much. Um, some people had called and they said that they saw you walk and they were just concerned that you were going to get his. Everything all right? Yeah, I was supposed to be waiting for my wife to come pick me up. And I have freaking asthma and I can't breathe and she lives down by that store so I had to walk. I'll be out with that mail just north of 9562. 9562. At the, end, at the store. She lives down there. Uh, what's your wife's name? Uh, Jesse Stevens. Okay. I know where she lives. Um, do you want me to give you a ride? Or do you need a squad? If you're at, like, if you do, if you want, just put your butt right here. That way you can sit down and kind of tripod a little bit and catch your breath. Where are you coming from? Oh, I'm sorry. You're good. Where are you coming from? Me and her got into an argument. Okay. And no one hit each other or nothing like that. We just got, we just got into an argument. And she said she's going to come and get me. Do you want me to call you a squad? To come check you out? I don't, I don't need no ambulance. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yeah, like I'm it, fine. She has they... my inhalers. I can breathe. It's just, it's hot. I don't know why. I keep trying to tell her to bring her here and someone freaking listen. Do you mind if you give me a ride there? That's fine. You sure you don't want a squad? I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. She is. She's just extremely drunk. This is Jessie, the girlfriend of the young man whom the police officer helped in distress. The officer found her getting into a vehicle but immediately noticed that she was not fit to drive. The primary goal here was to help the young man who was struggling to breathe, and that's exactly what To Protect and Serve stands for. Now they need to determine the background of everything, whether there was domestic violence, whether Jesse intentionally left her boyfriend on the road, what happened before the argument, and so on. Um, so I have Marcel in my car. Somebody called in. They were afraid he was walking down 638. They were afraid he was going to get hit. Yeah, I couldn't get this thing to start. I was trying to come and get him. Okay. Why couldn't you get it to start? I don't know. It's a piece of crap. Is he allowed to be here? Yeah. Okay. You're good, man. Are you okay? I offered to get him a squad. He said he thinks he's having an asthma attack. Oh, do you need the inhaler? He needs an inhaler. Marcel, why don't you let me call? Jesse, have you had anything to drink today? No. You been doing any drugs or anything like that? No, I can tell you she hasn't. We just got into an No. Okay. Because ever since you stepped out of the car, you've been stumbling. We've you're been you're slurring your words. Arguing, so. Oh, no. I'm not on anything. No. No. Do me a favor. Look up. Okay. I was trying to get this to start. Oh, my mom. Well, do you need me to I'm get fine. a squad for you? Because I'm a little concerned for your... Health. Just give me my halo. I did. I gave it to you. I have to look. I have to look in here and double check that the keys are not. Okay. Well, can you give me? Can I call my mom? Give me your phone, please. Okay. Do me a favor. Yeah. I'm gonna offer you to do some field sobriety tests. Okay. Okay. Do you want to participate in them? Sure. Okay. 
Jesse will now fail the field sobriety tests and will be arrested for operating while intoxicated. Additionally, the officer noticed a white substance under her nose. It's worth noting that stimulants like cocaine and amphetamines can cause rapid breathing, increase physical activity and stress, which can trigger attacks in severe asthmatics. I'm not accusing anyone, just saying. The situation is obviously more complicated than it seems, and it's further complicated by the fact that Jesse's father does not want Marcel on his property. Okay. So, Jesse, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to place you under arrest, okay? Cuz right now I believe that you're impaired and you were behind the wheel of a motor vehicle getting ready to go get him. Okay? Well, but I believe that you are. Um So here here's the deal. She's going to go to the jail. Um, I'm going to figure up what I'm all charging her with. Right now it's going to be um, physical control of a motor vehicle. It's, it's similar to an OVI. Um, it's not the same, but it's the same kind of charge. Okay. Um, do you know if she does drugs or has I, she ever done drugs around you? I've never... No. Okay. Well, right now that's what's going to happen. What do you need to say? I just, I just need to know what I need to do. Man, her dad's gone. Okay. Jesse, is he allowed to be here? I think that's what he's curious. Is he supposed to be here? Does your dad know he's here? Well, yes and no. Well, I kind of, is there any way I can call my dad? Yeah, I mean, I can facilitate that. Hi, Mike. This is Logan from the Sheriff's Office. How are you? They stayed up all night arguing. Okay. When they, that's, what, that's what he said. Um, she is extremely tired, I know. She wanted to call you, um, and Marcel's here wondering, like, what he's what he's supposed to do, and I know he's that... supposed to get off my property. Okay, because I, I've been out here before with one of her ex-boyfriends, and I think you remember me yeah. from that, uh, so I didn't uh, know if this was a similar situation where, you know, if he's not supposed to be here, you know, we need to facilitate him leaving. Yep. Okay. Oh, I don't want him at my place at all. Well, she's got uh, some she's got some white powder residue in her nose too. So, oh gosh. Um, I just like I said, I wanted to touch base with you since you're the homeowner, and I I knew that there's been some some issues here before with with her guests. So. Yeah, because he, he, this this guy is saying that I'm impaired. I'm not impaired. Obviously, I don't drink. I don't do none of that. I don't know. Well, I told the sheriff I did not want him at my house. Period. Mike, the I don't. What was your name? Robin. Is? Robin said that she's going to lock the house up, or she'll make sure that it's locked. If you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm. I'm fine with that. And my okay. like. So Marcel, here's the here's the deal. Mike says he doesn't want you here. Okay. Um, I don't know where you're going to go. I can call for somebody. Where you can go. Okay. I, um, I'll call for my brother to come pick me up. Jesse. Um. Jesse, listen to me, man. For real. Look at me. Yeah. I'm sorry to. Happen, bro. It's f***ing ridiculous. We should not be f***ing fighting like this at f***ing four in the morning, man. You gotta stop this. Shit. I didn't mean for this to happen, crazy, man. man. Hey, Mike. Yeah, uh, that Marcel guy. He's on parole, and uh, bottom line, I don't want him at my house. He's on parole, but he doesn't remember his parole officer's number because he went to prison for uh, sex offender registry violations. Jesse, are you on paper? No. You're not? No. Okay. Didn't you just get out of prison not too long ago, or did you... About did you, nine months ago. You just did all your time? Yep. Okay. It all ended with Marcel having to leave the property, but the father didn't request a trespass warning. Jesse was arrested for physical control of a motor vehicle, which is similar to operating while intoxicated. That's who's police permit! Leave my house. No. Nope. Thank you. Leave. You want it to be gone. Leave. So we're not going to close the door? I'm not. Yes, I am. This is my home. I didn't open it for you. He did. I am not opening this door to you. What's the relationship? We're exes. Just lost his child. Yeah. Friends. Friends, don't. Please get out of my house. I did not invite you in. I have, you do don't not do have, that. I'm here for you, a domestic that, disturbance. No, but you do not have a right to enter okay. my home unless I've invited you. Okay. You no, do not have a warrant. Is, is I did not open my door to you. He opened it to leave. Uh, I understand. Then bring your supervisor, but I want him that gone. you don't want to talk to me? That's great. I'm not talking and to anybody. That's fine, okay? I'm done for the night. He can leave. You can tell me that you're not giving me STDs because you're 
I bet you got a rubber like you promised. You can, I don't know, give me the 120 plus dollars that you owe me. Please leave. Didn't you guys call the police? I did. Oh, you did. Out of my home! Okay. No, I will get the supervisor now. I did not invite you in. Don't come Officer, near me. Officer, then don't come don't in my come home. Near me. Now. Okay. okay, I'll call 911 again. Do we okay. need to do this? Go, go ahead. Great. But you don't have a right to be in my home without a warrant. Get out, please. You are not invited in by the homeowner. There's another officer. Goodbye. That's great. Please step outside my door. Now. You are now trespassing without a warrant. Exit my doorstep. <clears throat> no, get out of my house. How are you going to threaten me in my house? He is not, I did not invite him in. Oh, he is not just gonna walk in my house. This is, this he, is, no, he doesn't have a warrant. He needs to get, he's threatening me and I'm, no. It's a domestic issue? I, does, I did going. not open right. that door to him. Okay. He did. No, get out of my house now. You can stand right there and the door will stay open. I don't give a Out of my house, now. You have no right to enter a dwelling at all without permission. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep it up. I'm gonna keep going. Ma'am, please do not come Do in. not come into my house and tell me what I can and can't do. You are not invited in. I did not give you permission to be here. Now you are trespassing and threatening me. Hmm, yeah. It's always the same story. They always think that the police have no rights at all. When the police are called in cases involving potential domestic disputes, they have the authority to investigate. If the boyfriend, presumably a resident of the house, called the police and allowed them in, the police are not trespassing. So the girl is just angry and talking nonsense. Also, you'll find out that the boyfriend called the police because the girl took his bike. So there's definitely reason here for an investigation. She sees like assaulting me before. Um, obviously, I can't touch her. I can't, you know, I don't want to uh, be physical with her. Or whatever. And um, is she your girlfriend? She like an ex. She just like started going off on me. And just would block the door and just no, no, you can't do this and blah, blah, blah. And she took my bike and uh, did it get physical at any point? No. Okay. What What is it that you need? Do you just? I just, just trying to leave. I was just trying to leave, but she was threatening me. So you um, just want your bicycle? Yes. Okay. You're inside my house, sir. Please stop. I'm not resisting. You stop. You're you are moving. resisting. No, right now I am because you're hurting me, sir. Stop! I will let you handcuff me! Stop! Put your hands behind your back! I've done this before! I will! Please stop! Put your hands behind your back! I said I will! You do not need to use excessive force! Can I not deal with him anymore? Please let him... No, he has been nothing... Please get me out of these cuffs! I will... Stop I will cooperate! Please get me out of these cuffs now! You're not... Please! I didn't... He walked into my home without my permission! I did not open my door to him! He does not have a warrant! Please stop! Well, Valerie, again, that's because he doesn't need one. So you're arrest for resisting and obstructing the Can you please? I'm not going anywhere. Please okay. stop. And we'll get my I have babies. Please stop. You are very... Can you please take these off? Put them in the front. Please, I'm not going to run. I have a baby. Please take these off right, of me. We need to go outside. I can't. My son is inside. Let me sit down, please. You live here? Our kid's going to be okay. You live here? You live here? I, I live downstairs. Okay, downstairs. We'll, we'll talk to you in a minute. Can you hang on downstairs for me? I'm trying to calm down. Can I please have these off? I'm not going to go anywhere. I swear to you, I have a baby right there. Please, sir. I have been okay. abused by a cop my entire life. Okay. Can you well, please uh, get these off of that me? That is not going to happen this right is a trick, okay. and That's why I'm okay. saying I can calm down. Just even unhook one. Just okay? calm down. Can you please just unhook one. I don't think you would just calm down. Sir, can we help her with something? Yes. Uh, I'm uh, her downstairs neighbor. I'm wanting to know her. I know uh, her kids. Sir, I'm going to check on them right now. Sir, he's okay. not somebody that can be okay. talked to like a human being. So, if no, Mel, please let me finish. Please let me finish. Please let me finish. I'm trying to breathe. He's walking through my house. Your kids. How many children does she have? Three. She has three kids. I only see one. I promise. No, I can't. I can't breathe. Just put yeah. it back on this yeah. one. Two girls yes. no, sir. and one boy. She has three she children? Yeah. Yes. I just said the other two she are with somebody for the night. Okay, good. Can I just sit okay. right here? I don't think you're... No, seriously, you're cutting off circulation. You're cutting off circulation. Hey. Listen to me, okay? I hear, no, that's perfect. If you Thank calm you. down for me, these if are going to come off. Do you understand me. that? But when it's a domestic-related issue... You do not okay? have a right to search my things. Okay. He, he needs to stop. Uh, we, no, I, but, uh, I understand. Okay. Hold on real quick, but I... I, can, I can I talk I, to you? Can it, I finish explaining it to you? Or I'm going to answer your question. Yeah, I'll probably forget the question. Just listen to me, okay? He, can he stop searching my things? Mm -hmm. I have every right for him to stop. He needs if to stop. Any domestic-related issue, okay? We are 100%. We can come into your house, investigate what we need to do. I did not open the door to him. I'm sorry? Were you up here earlier? 
No. Okay. Is there anything else that we can help you with? Oh, I, I, I need to know if the, the, she's going to be here for them, as if or anybody's going to be here for yeah, them. Yes, she's going to be here for them. She's, she's not going to jail. All she's going to get is a ticket, okay? Okay. Okay, so thank you. So what's going on with the bike and everything? Can you give me a rundown of what the story is, why we're here? The man's 42 years old and got pregnant. Okay. And moved him out of his trailer. He was cheating on me, still helped him, he lived with me. How long have you, have you guys been back at We place? were, yeah, pretty much for over a year. A year, okay. And um, you. he owes me money, and I literally asked him, if you're going to be the people, can you please wear condoms? Mm -hmm. He refused to answer. I said, that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. That is my body, too. Sure. I have every right to know. Yeah. He's like, I, I'm not dealing with this, and tries to leave. And I'm like, you need to at least give me that. That's okay. it. Oh, you're threatening me. You're trying to keep me here. I was like, because I want to really so answer. Was this, was this today that this the, argument yeah. happened? Okay. Just now. So what? What did he have the bike here and you kicked him out, or what? What exactly? I told happened? him I was like, I can. I'll keep the bike until you pay me my 120 dollars plus that you said you pay me did, did, for did, months did, now. Did he leave on his own, or did you make him leave, or what, what happened? He, the cops knocked, and he was like, answer the door. I was like, I'm not answering the door. He, he answered the door, okay. and I said, go. Gotcha. Then the cop stepped in my house and threatened me. I would like to know, officer, real quick, um, what you are reporting accusational-wise to CPS, please. Uh, reference to a domestic disturbance, ma'am. And so what does that conclude with CPS, I guess? Does that open a whole case? It's just for their information. So that's that's up to them. It's really okay. up to them. Okay, okay. thank that's, No, I appreciate, I just need to know. Yeah. I wish you would have done this the first time. Sir, you threatened me in my home. That's how I felt. You may not have perceived it that way. Please, maybe next time just take down the cop back because it would have gone a lot differently. I don't, I would have worked, I was not mad at you, but I did not appreciate how I felt approached. Okay. Well. So, it can, I'm a very reasonable person. Yeah. I'm autistic, so my brain is just, works oh. a little bit differently. Oh. The next time the police officers arrive, in reference to any kind of investigation, uh, especially when trying to make sure the, that everybody's okay, you need to cooperate, that's it. I was, I felt threatened. I have this man who's knocked me up and lied and abused me and my children, and I just wanted paid. Now, in regards to the children, I see that your house is a mess. You know what's funny? Is I literally just asked that man if I could pay him to help me because of my lupus and my... We don't know if Valerie learned her lesson, but we do know that she got charged with battery against a household member and resisting arrest.